Hi, I'm George Zamka, STS-130 Commander. You're watching NASA TV. Just before, Commander Jeff Williams and his crewmates have their first daily planning conference. They'll be touching base with uh, their several flight control teams around the world and getting an update on the uh, plan provided them for uh, this day's activities. Earlier, uh, Jeff Williams and uh, Mission Control were discussing the uh, day's events in which Williams and Station Flight Engineer Ola Kotov will be involved in documenting the approach of the Space Shuttle Endeavour to the station, specifically mapping out pictures of Endeavour's heat shield, looking at the thermal protection tiles on the top side and underside of Endeavour, so that that imagery can be downlinked to experts on the ground for analysis and a determination of the health of the heat shield. This is now a view inside the Space Shuttle Endeavour on the aft flight deck, astronaut Kay Heyer floating into view. She's been working on preparing for a rendezvous and docking of the Space Shuttle to the International Space Station along with Endeavour's commander, George Zamka, and pilot Terry Burtz. This is a view from a camera inside Endeavour's payload bay looking at the orbiter docking system. This is the portion of the space shuttle that links up to the International Space Station. As all the crew members are getting ready for uh, docking to the International Space Station. There, uh, Patrick in view again, waving to the camera. And there, the terminal initiation burn using Endeavour's orbital maneuvering system engine. This is Mission Control Houston with a view from a video camera on the outside of the International Space Station looking at the Space Shuttle Endeavour with the 
horizon of the Earth below. Endeavour is behind the International Space Station at a distance of about 27,000 feet, or about a little more than five statute miles away. Two vehicles are orbiting about 215 statute miles above the Earth, passing into an orbital sunset over the South Pacific Ocean about to cross over South America. We're now two hours away from docking of the Spatial Endeavour to the International Space Station. This is a view from a camera on the outside of the International Space Station, continuing to watch the Spatial Endeavour as it approaches the complex. Happy Endeavour, thanks for the update. Endeavour's pilot Terry Vertz uh, giving a status using the handheld laser to provide some information about the rendezvous of the space shuttle with the International Space Station. This is Mission Control Houston with a view again from the centerline camera in Endeavour's orbiter docking system. This is a snapshot of that view from the video camera. Looking up at the International Space Station, Endeavour is about 1,600 feet away from the complex. Endeavour Houston on a big loop, you are a go inside 600 feet. Go inside 600 feet. This is a view of the Space Shuttle Endeavour from a camera on board the International Space Station. And the outboard uh, truss structure, a camera mounted uh, looking down at the Space Shuttle, which is approaching the uh, 600 foot mark where Endeavour's commander. George Zamko will pause for the R-bar or rendezvous pitch maneuver to conduct a nine-minute backflip, showing uh, the different sides and upper and lower surface of Endeavour to the station, where uh, station crew members Jeff Williams and Oleg Kotov are positioned with digital cameras to photograph Endeavour's heat shield. Endeavour and the International Space Station are orbiting about 216 statute miles above the Earth or the Pacific Ocean just to the east of the Philippines. The Space Shuttle Endeavour is continuing through this maneuver, a nine-minute backflip called the Rendezvous Pitch Maneuver, or R-Bar Pitch Maneuver. Going through that prescribed uh, mapping of the underside of Endeavours, looking at the, the per thermal protection system tiles.
soon as I called that up that uh, did TCS did switch to CW. We'd uh, like you to keep those steps handy, but for now it's uh, looking good and no action will be required. Copy, ZJ. Just let me know if, uh, if it is. We'll let you know. Thanks a lot. This is a view from the video camera inside the orbiter docking system on Endeavour. It's a snapshot to, from that camera being updated periodically, looking at the International Space Station. Endeavour Houston on a big loop. You are go for docking. Great news, CJ. Thanks. Go for docking. Happy Endeavor. This is Mission Control Houston now with a live view inside the Space Shuttle Endeavor. Commander George Zamka at the controls. Flying Endeavor towards the International Space Station. Endeavor Houston, air to ground two. We're coming on board on the uh, flight deck. Happy that, CJ. Thanks for the heads up. Commander George Zamka continuing to use the centerline camera view for the precise alignment. We copy Endeavour. And Houston and Station were initiating final approach. Houston copies. Zamka has confirmed uh, the alignment with the International Space Station. These updated snapshots from video cameras on board Endeavour showing the vehicle getting closer and closer to the International Space Station. Houston for Terry, please hit pause. Station on Houston, capture confirmed. Houston copies. Docking confirmed at 11.06 p.m. Endeavor Central Houston time. Endeavor Station, Space. free drift confirmed. Endeavor copies, free drift confirmed. This is a view from a video camera on the outside of the International Space Station. The Space Shuttle Endeavour is just uh, visible as the two spacecraft are passing through an orbital sunrise. Things will lighten up. Endeavour Houston, air to ground two. We are locked up solid now, so we'll take all the uh, docking system uh, stuff and any shuttle-specific calls over on this loop. Uh, we are ready for a six uh, decimal one oh nine. Okay, here come steps one, five, and six. 
This is Mission Control Houston. The crew on board the Space Shuttle Endeavour is standing by to continue with the procedure to retract the orbiter docking ring. There is still a little bit of relative motion seen uh, between the two spacecraft, and that is not uh, unexpected. And it takes uh, just a while for that to dampen out, usually within 30 minutes uh, or less before uh, they can continue on with the procedure to pull that uh, ring into the orbiter docking system for the final set of latches to connect the two spacecraft. Endeavour, we concur. Thanks for the tag up. Dambo, welcome. Hey, hey, welcome. Suichi, how you doing? Oh, long time no see. see. Oh man, right. they look great. Good. These guys look awesome. I think I last saw you before Christmas. I know. Hey, baby. Hey, DJ, how you doing? Good to see you. Hi, 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 Awesome. Good to see you. How's it going? Good. Good to see you. Good to see you. All right. Good to see you. 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 Another set at the far end before you go into the JLP. You look up and you'll see the, the red markings. Um, and then up in the JLP, way in the back, it won't do you much good because you probably wouldn't find it anyway. There's a fire extinguisher behind the panel. Um, we're actually, I think we're going to be, no, we're not going to be moving that. We're back now with a live view inside the Space Shuttle Flight Control Room where the team on the ground is watching over robotics operations as the Space sh Station robotic arm moves in to grapple the shuttle's orbiter boom sensor system to get ready to hand it off to the Space Shuttle robotic arm, which, because of the configuration of the station at this point, doesn't have a good access to pick that uh, extension up by itself. This is Mission Control Houston looking at a live view of the robotics work going on on both the uh, Space Station and Space Shuttle side of the hatches that were opened earlier this uh, morning. Hatch opening took place at 1.16 a.m. Central Time after an 11.06 p.m. docking of Endeavour to the International Space Station. And as you can probably tell from all the conversations going on, there is a quite a bit of work already happening between the two crews. This particular uh, bit of work that we're witnessing here is the transfer of the, or the handoff of the orbiter boom sensor system to the space shuttle's robotic arm from the space station robotic arm. Some of the other work going on um, includes uh, the transfer 
from the glacier freezer in the space shuttle. That's the General Laboratory Active Cryogenic ISS Experiment Refrigerator um, for its uh, official name, shortened, of course, to Glacier. The crew's uh, working to transfer some of the uh, science experiments brought up by Endeavour in that freezer to the International Space Station. In particular, they're working on the um, samples brought up for the nanoskeleton experiment that is uh, subtitled Production of High Performance Nanomaterials in Microgravity. Back now with a live view of uh, the continuing robotics work that's going on on the station and shuttle with the space shuttle robotic arm moving in to grab onto the orbital boom sensor system currently being held by the space station robotic arm. Good view here of the station robotic arm grab, uh, holding onto that orbital boom sensor system in the middle with the, on the edge of the screen, the shuttle robotic arm, which you can't see, but is moving in also to grab onto the end of the extension. Pilot Terry Vertz and Mission Specialist Kay Hire continuing to maneuver the space shuttle robotic arm and uh, now along with it, the orbiter boom sensor system into place for the viewing of the Tranquility Node installation during the first spacewalk of the mission on flight day five. Its next actual work would be the flight day six focused inspection of the shuttle's heat shield if that uh, does prove to be necessary. Mission managers here on the ground are thinking about that right now and will be uh, using the data that's been collected from various inspection methods and that's being studied right now by experts here on the ground to see if there's any indication of damage to sh the shuttle's heat shield. They'll be taking uh, their findings into consideration as they make that, that decision, but the uh, Focus inspection, if it is necessary, would be on flight day six.